Hey, welcome back to Defending Utah Radio. I'm Ben McClintock here in studio with Micah Turner. Hey. And yeah, we're from DefendingUtah.org. We think right and wrong, not right and left. In today's program, we're going to talk about the conservative way to get you to implement United Nations programs. That and terrible spaghetti sauce. No, <laughs> I don't know just kidding. That. <laughs> so um, several years, so there was just a new article. This is something that they are always coming out with is Agenda 21. We've done lots of articles. You go on our YouTube channel, you go on our website and you type in Agenda 21. And you'll see all these conservative ways that the Utah legislature, or if you're in other states that consider themselves conservatives, that they have to use to get you to go along with it, either by pretending to take your lands back from the federal government. And again, I say pretending to... Just what I mean pretending. <laughs> <laughs> to a, a way that um, to fund the roads. How do we how do we conservatives find a way to fund my roads? My roads? <laughs> my roads. Did somebody say my roads? <laughs> so this is so I'm just gonna they um I wish we, we had that <laughs> meme of the the status when you say like my roads. <laughs> if you see that one, yeah. it's like a couple and they have like a road instead of a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Use your imagination. It's so great. since since last year, um, the state of Utah has been doing a pilot program to um, charge people voluntarily. We did a show about this, actually, about how they're going to voluntarily charge you to pay for roads. That was like last year. Yeah, because well, that was when the article came yeah. out. But they started even before. I mean, they're well, they've obsessed. been doing it for a long time. We see Oregon. We see um, Washington and California doing it. Yeah, and they'll never stop bringing this up in the state until... Well, we get all these buttholes out of the legislature. This originates with the United Nations Agenda 21, Agenda yeah. 2030. This is all about the government controlling you. And so uh, there's this news article, news, I use that word lightly, from the local Fox affiliate, where um, they're talking about the recent push to do this. And we have our, um, it goes through and it talks about um, Senator Wayne Harper. And what he says uh, here is, we will be heading there, he said, whether it's in five years or 20 years. I think it's just in the nature of technology and transportation will require us to do that. So this is exactly, you go back to our previous show about this. And that's exactly what we said they were going to do. Yeah. That they are, they're calling it voluntary to get things started. And then there was actually a bunch of people that voluntarily did it. I thought when we looked at it last year, there was only like one or two people. It was, it, there was a big chunk of, of individuals that actually were engaged in um, voluntarily paying this tax. Let me see if I can find. Um, so they were actually given a choice. And then well, as, as I'm reading that, um, trying to find where they said how many were doing it. They had a choice of either doing a $120 flat fee or a 1.5 cent per mile. So 4% of all Utahns who have registered a hybrid vehicle have voluntarily participated. So 4% of what number? I don't know. Because they wouldn't, it doesn't, it's not reported. 1.5 cents per mile. And so, but for, so 4% of people that have electric vehicles have chosen to voluntarily pay the government money. <laughs> Because they're idiots. That's all there is to it. I guarantee you they're the ones wearing the masks at the store. You think so? I guarantee you. <laughs> if, if you. If you listener, dear listener, <laughs> volunteered to pay the task and also have not wearing the mask, give us a call. <laughs> give us a call. So give we us can, an email. So be like, what? So we can just gawk at you. <laughs> wordlessly, <laughs> wordlessly. At this anomaly. But we said that this was going to be a... They claim to be temporary, and now we have the state Senate admitting, no, this is going to be happening, whether it's, a, it's just a matter of time of when they're going to force all of us to engage in this. And they consider this a, what's it called? A volunteer, not a volunteer, the conservative solution oh, to funding Marauds. This because, is so conservative, <laughs> uh, continuing to blatantly violate the Fourth Amendment <laughs> and taking, tracking you and getting all the data they can gobble up through their giant cocaine snorting nostrils <laughs> it's like so that's the bizarre thing so they're making people yeah. they, they, these two options where you can pay a flat fee or a per mileage fee so i bet you what's going to happen because nobody wants to violate their fourth amendment well obviously i don't know how well, many of the four percent what are the percentages of per mile versus the flat fee 
I, the, the report didn't say. I bet you all those people drive less than 8,000 miles a year. Is that what the $150 would be? 120. 120, yeah. Yeah. So 1.5 cents or 120, they probably did the math and they all chose to do the per mile because they're like, oh, I'll save money. I only, I only drive 4,000 miles a year in my Tesla. So they don't- Which they, is like, well, actually, I mean, yeah, right? I guess- I don't care. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so they He's figured it was saving money, but they didn't realize what they were doing was voluntarily giving up their fourth amendment rights. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would do like voluntarily to like be on with. at least a logistical basis. <laughs> <laughs> so the 4% that volunteered to begin with, you're like, what the what? And then the ones that volunteered to like give up their privacy, <laughs> you're like, huh? And so the, so when it goes permanent, like Senator Harper says it will, I'm curious, are they going to make it optional where you get to choose? Or do you think, it, well, that's probably what will happen. So I'm just going to kind of hypothesize right now is they'll say, okay, you get to choose. You get to kind of go out and what's going to happen is everybody's going to be like, screw you and your violation of the Fourth Amendment. And they're going to say, oh, cred, we're not making enough money. And they're going to make everybody start to do the reporting. Eventually, you're going to have to twist they'll something. Just, yeah, they'll just make up some excuse. But don't worry, they will still charge you a gas tax. <laughs> Either way. I know you're all worried about that. <laughs> they will still charge you a gas tax. You can, you can bet your bottom dollar. And eventually, it's going to get so high that they're trying to force you into. That's why we see this in huge, even though there's zero demand for government transportation, they are just guzzling billions of dollars across the country and in yeah. the state of Utah into something that nobody uses. There's a reason why. Because they, the taxes are going to raise to a point where they're going to, you're going to just say, economically speaking, I'm going to have to use that to go to work. Yeah. And so they're going to push you in just like in San Francisco, just like in New York City, where in New York City, there are grown up people that die never getting a driver's license because it's just too expensive to drive in New York City. Did you say grown up people? Grown up people. I disagree. <laughs> Aged people? Not, not adults. Not adults. Not driving. I did, like people that stayed in a strange infantile state <laughs> Their entire while life. having an apartment and dying in it. <laughs> those Alone. Are the, those are the kind of people that don't even own property right. or, or they're like so rich and snobbish that they own all the property. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Those, uh, are the, those are the two extremes. Those are your two choices. Yeah, those are your two choices. So this is something that needs to be stopped. As the legislative session goes in there, the, you can see what they're saying. And so these dirt bags need to be getting out of office. They need to be removed from office. And we need to make sure that everybody, that there's complete opposition to this. If they refuse to listen to the people, the people need to refuse to obey. Nullification is the rightful remedy to any time they try to yeah. force these things upon us. And this is just a simple principle that rebellion to tyrants is obedience to God. Yes. And the system continues to become more extreme as we go. Yeah. And uh, it seems to be that personal nullification is becoming more and more necessary. Yep. So until next time, I am Ben McClintock here with Micah Turner from DefendingItUtah.org. If you like what we do, you want to continue to see programming like this, go to DefendingUtah.org, click on the membership tab, and becoming a member today. Until next time. We have before us the opportunity to forge a new world order. We hope that a vaccine's on its way. During my baby's last precious hours. They are not related. And then this one Salt Lake City police car was just parked on the side of the road.